Good morning, collective. So we're going to begin, I don't know the name of this deck, but this is what we're going to begin with. Holy Spirit, Archangels, Honesty. Some of you guys are being called to be honest with yourselves. Or maybe somebody wants to be honest with you. Maybe somebody wants to have a conversation with you. After feeling some kind of grief, this person could be worried. Some of you guys could be worried that, um, let me read the card. It says, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So some of you guys need to just be honest with yourselves at this time. Somebody could be lying to you, trying to gaslight you, but you know better. I just heard you know better. Um, it's up to us to use our discernment. It's up to us to use our discernment. If our intuition is telling us that somebody's gaslighting us, lying to us, being dishonest, we can't, we can't pretend. We can't humor these people. Not for one bit, not for one second. I choose to focus on the lighter side of things. And we can't sit here and be like, I'm going to just ignore that lie. Because that little lie turns into a big lie. Okay? And that's not what we're here to do. We're not here to um, tickle somebody else's feathers. Okay? We're not doing that. Okay? Um, somebody needs to meditate. Perseverance. Um, it says, I know that I can do what, whatever I set my mind to. It's about the mind. If your mind is telling you somebody's lying to you, believe it. Don't be sitting here tickling somebody else's feathers to make them happy, to accommodate them, and then dismiss your own intuition. That's where we go wrong. We cannot be doing that on this path. We need to trust what the guidance that we're getting, okay? Um, <clears throat> what is this about? Then you start, you start dismissing your intuition and making the wrong decisions, and you get misguided. Introvert. Some of you guys could be dealing with somebody else. Um, you can know that this situation is not good for you. You both got your backs towards each other. Um, separation, online community. Some of you guys need to unplug from social media. If you're in a relationship with somebody and you're both being distant with each other, um, you know, that's not good. There's got to be some kind of con con conversation here, okay? Because who the fuck wants to be in a relationship that looks like this? Three, four, five. Who wants to be in a relationship that looks like that? That looks horrible, That's too much stimulation of the mind. Um, I can't be around shit like that. You on the fucking phone. I'm on the phone. And then this is how you're really feeling inside. And then, but this is how you guys are acting outside, protesting against each other. You don't even know what you're fighting for. Mm-hmm. If this relationship is not fulfilling you, why you're in it? Be honest with yourself. You don't got to be honest with me. Marriage. You know, sometimes we're sitting in this... In this you both probably want to be in this energy of apologizing to each other. You know? Um, and then we, we, we sit here... Okay, instead of communicating, 
and expressing how we feel, you know, like this looks beautiful right here. Marriage, a couple, there could be some kind of dependency in this, a sweet love, okay? Um, I feel like you guys have barriers up. I don't know who I'm speaking to. Um, to not hurt, I'm not going to let you hurt me. And then this person's like, I'm not going to let you hurt me. I don't, I'm not going to let you see that what you said or did to me hurt me, you know? So you guys go into this energy. Arguing, fussing, and fighting when really deep down inside you just want this person to um, be kind. Because this is how you're really feeling, right? And this could be you. This could be the other person. I don't know. This could be the past. Okay. Um, let's get some tarot on this. What's going on here, Spirit? Like, if you guys would just communicate with each other, you'll see the humor in this. The lighter side of things. And I feel like that's what Spirit wants you guys to do if you're in this relationship. Yeah. Or close out the cycle. Don't sit in that. Maybe this person proposed to you. And you feel like you're obligated to commit to this person after saying yes. I don't know. I don't know your situation. Maybe this person, you know, gifted you with something. Uh, a ring. I don't know. And you might want to make it look good for the social media. Oh, there's love here. Mm -hmm. You want an equal give and take. You want... you. you Whoever I'm speaking to, I feel like you need to disconnect. Disconnect from the world. You and this person. Take a vacation. Get to a hotel. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be a whole vacation. It could be, you know, if you can't afford a vacation, go book a hotel. And make it your own little vacation, your mini vacation. Um, where it's just you and this person and there's no social media. And you guys are able to honestly speak your truth. Um, so you, you, I feel like you both are feeling like this, longing, wanting the, the love back. This is what you guys want to do. Apologize to each other. This is what you want to do. <sighs> you could be feeling unfulfilled, but then this is what you're doing. You're standing up, you're standing up, like, <sighs> This is just too much. There's like needs to be some kind of conversation happening here. You guys are on guard. I'm not, yeah, healed. There needs to be conversation, healing. That needs to take place here. Mm-hmm. Because the only one that you're deceiving is yourselves. You're walking out the house acting like you're... you're you're not bothered. You're not mad. It doesn't bother you. When it really fucking does. You're putting on a false mask. At the end of the day. You're feeling left out. I feel like you both are feeling left out. Or maybe you went through this. And you had to persevere from this. Okay. Um, maybe you close out a cycle with this person. And it's like, you don't show me love, I don't show you love. You don't, you don't show me that you care, I'm not going to show you that you care. Like, that's childish. What the hell is this? <sighs> Be honest. Maybe if you, you tell this person how they're making you feel, they'll be able to open up. Somebody has to break the ice. Somebody has to break the ice here. You know? Mm-hmm. You guys are both looking for each other. You're gathering information, spying, stalking. Um... You got your sword up is what I'm getting. Somebody has to break the ice with that sword. <clears throat> That's the truth. 
that's the truth. What do we need to see, Holy Spirit? There's love here. I feel like you guys want to be exchanging gifts instead of being in this introvert. You turn your back on me, I turn my back on you. You turn off your emotions, I turn off my emotions. You don't show me love, I don't show you love. And then nobody's feeling loved in this connection when there's a lot of love here. Hi, Archangel Michael. Then it becomes too much. It's like, I don't even want to go home. What else are they going to do to hurt me? What the fuck is this, Spivet? Who is going through this? Spivet. Who is going through this? You guys are being toxic with each other. Yeah. <laughs> Scorpio. You could be a Scorpio. There needs to be an ending to whatever this toxicity is. Or it's going to pollute. This love, this cup of love. There needs to be some kind of transformation, a rebirth here. <clears throat> you guys are in a dark space right now. I can't never make this up, make the change. Change it up. Change it up, Spirit is saying. I can't make it up. Okay, let's get some oracle on this and close this out. I feel like there's a lot of love here. Stargazers, see your sights, set your sights higher. Maybe some of you guys are thinking like, oh my God, the worst. They were saying, no, set your sights higher. Think positive and positive things will happen. We'll transform this. Fire guardian, you could be a uh, fire sign. Ignite your passion. I feel like you, you both are passionate about each other. You both sit there looking at the stars, thinking about each other, looking up, speaking to the divine. <clears throat> um, there's a lot of passion. Um, you guys see, you know, like marriage with each other. The Ace of Cups is out here. The star energy is out here. Yeah. Earth Guardian. Stay, stay rooted and grounded. Um... Yeah, Hunter, track down your fears and desires. What What's stopping you guys from um, speak, being honest with each other? Earth Guardian, that's all about the heart chakra, fire guardian, passion. Track down those fears and move forward. Set your sights higher on your desires instead of the fears. Focus more on what, what you want the outcome to be, collective. Um, This is what I have for you. If it resonates, like, subscribe, share, comment, love and light.